Sachs Preseed has improved its visualization capabilities for collapse advanced results with interactive graphs and additional data visualization options. Preseed now supports additional plots for member internal loads, member plasticity, elastic equivalent stresses, and plate stresses. There is also a new option which allows users to view the current plasticity or max plasticity for an element. Let's take a look at some of these features. First, open a Collapse Advanced Database. I'll be using the sample analysis that is included with SACS 15.1. The first thing we're going to look at are the interactive graphs. Make sure the interactive graph option is selected. That's going to be on the Collapse tab under Interactive Graphs. Select and open the graph settings. Let's create a few graphs. Select load step for the x-axis and member axial stress for the y-axis. I'm going to select one of these braces here and that will populate the information for the member. Click add to add this graph to the list of graphs. We can then repeat this step for any number of graphs. For this example I'm going to do load step max x force for the same brace. I'm going to select load member plasticity for the same brace. And then I'm going to select the joint x displacement for this joint and then the sum of x forces because this is a pushover analysis in the x direction. Now we can click Show Graphs to show all of the interactive graphs. Let's spread out these graphs to make them easier to see. You can click on any of the points in any of the interactive graphs and Preseed will update the view to reflect the selected point. So on my low displacement curve, I can select a point where it looks like we're beginning to see plasticity. We can see that occurring in the element as well. You'll note that the points are updated for the corresponding graphs. So you can see where the point is in multiple views. Let's briefly talk about what each one of these graphs is representing. So like I said, this is a load displacement curve. So we can see as the structure has an elastic response and as it transi transitions into a nonlinear response as this curve flattens out. We can also see the behavior of this brace element that we selected. So right here we can see the force. Uh, it's going to be negative here because we have it in compression. And as the force uh, in, increases to a point where you can see we start to have plasticity and the load has to be transferred through other methods in the structure. We can also see an equivalent axial stress. Note that this axial stress isn't a real stress but is a stress computed based upon the cross-sectional area of the element. And then also here we can see the plasticity. The plasticity is a representation of how much of each cross-section uh, is plastic at each uh, node along the length of the element. So here you can see that the first plasticity occurs for length 0 right here and you can see that occurring here as well. And then as you move along more elements along the length start to become plastic and the ratio of plasticity increases as well. We also have an option to show the max plasticity, which is the max plasticity that has occurred at uh, any point throughout the analysis. Uh, but if we deselect that, it will only show the current plasticity, uh, which uh, shows if the element has become unloaded. For more information, you can check out the links below in the description. And remember to subscribe to get more videos like this. Thank you.